Good evening everyone, it is once again Ted the Speed Learner and tonight I'm going to teach you something called lattice multiplication. I'm sure you've never heard of it before and if you have that's great but if you have not let me teach it to you because if you don't have a calculator this can be become real handy real quick. Okay, but before I get started I'm probably one of the rare few YouTube personalities on the YouTube platform that will never go Oh, please, 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 please like my video. And if you would be ever so kind as to subscribe to my channel, which will cause all my videos to be shared all over the platform. Let me tell you something. That ain't going to work. And I'll tell you why. Because YouTube cannot determine what they need to determine, which is whether my videos are keeping you guys on their platform by the use of the like buttons and the subscribe buttons okay now why do these people tell you this well number one it extends the watch time on their videos which I'll tell you a little later why that would have an effect but anyway the other thing is that um, the like button itself you could flip through things all day long and just go like, 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 like. It's not going to tell YouTube anything, okay? Now, as for the subscribe button, that's a little different story. Have you noticed that when you hit the subscribe button now, this little menu pops up and it, it sets your bell notifications? There you go. That's why they're telling you that. Now, the, the bell notifications might tell YouTube something about how popular your channel is, and they might want to share your videos because of it, Okay. But what will cause YouTube to share your videos? Well, there are two things you can... Well, first of all, if people like you who are watching these videos right now were to copy the URL of the video and share it on a different social media platform like Facebook, uh, what used to be Twitter, now is X, uh, Gab, uh, you got Truth Social, Instagram, you, threads whatever you want to share it on that would get your video shared more okay number two when you increase the watch time of the video then YouTube gets an indication that you, you people are actually watching the whole thing and not just watching bits or pieces and, and jump, jump cutting through everything in your video so that is a good indication the other thing you could do okay is you can leave very nice comments in the comments section below and what that tells them is you were engaged, you watched, you replied, you, you really liked the, the content that you were watching and that helps your, your ratings as well. So really what you really want to do if you want to increase, uh, if you want to motivate YouTube to share your videos more often, watch the videos all the way through well, not you, but I mean your audience needs to watch the videos all the way through, increase the watch time of every single one of your videos, or have them leave the nice comments in the comments section below so that YouTube can see for themselves that, gee, this is a video we want to share all over the platform. And there you go. And another thing I need to mention real quick before we resume our video is that uh, I have published five Kindle books. They're five bucks a piece. If you want a copy of any of these Kindle books, just leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll send you a hyperlink to my latest book, which you now can see on the screen. And then uh, from there, you can find my other four Kindle books. And there will be more Kindle books coming soon. It's all up to you. Buy them and let me know what you think about them. All right, on to the video. All right, so what is the origin of this type of multiplication? Let's uh, take a little time machine and let's go back to the country of Italy. This method of multiplication in Italy is called gelosia. But what, the, what does this mathematical me method have to do with jealousy? Well, if you're bringing up the topic of human relationships, then gelosia actually does mean jealousy. But the word gelosia in Italian also means a window shutter. So what is a sh window shutter? Well, shutters are actually items you can add to windows 
that can enhance the privacy of your home as well as block strong winds from damaging your windows. So what you do is you close the shutter and then you lower the window and lock it and when a storm came through it would tear up the shutters and not the window. Does this mean that the people of Italy created this mathematical method of multiplication? Well, no. If you research the topic further, you find that it was someone in India that created this mathematical method. No one is exactly sure who it was that in India that invented this modern this method of mathematics. But someone in the country of China read some of the ancient texts of India and published their own findings in textbooks. At some point, people from Italy traveled to China and read their textbooks, and now we have this method of multiplication. So, how do we use lattice multiplication? Well, let me ask you something. Doesn't this look like a window? I bet it does. Let's multiply some numbers. We're going to multiply 43 by 32. Now, if we were to use the traditional way of doing this, which this is what I was taught in school, we'd have 43 times 32, and then we'd have to multiply the, the 2 by the 3, and we'd get 6, and of course we'd have to multiply the 4 by the 2, and we'd get 8, and, and uh, what would make it worse is if you had to... Uh, then we have a zero down here, I think. Then you have nine here, and of course you have twelve. If you multiplied the three and the two like this, and uh, let's say you had bigger numbers here, and it generated like, say, an answer of ten or twelve or fifteen or whatever, you'd have to carry the one. Talk about messy, okay? Then you have to total up a 6 and 9. And, uh, that's 17 there. Carry the 1. That's 3. And that, and I think we're going to get a result of 1376, if I recall correctly. But why go through all that hassle? Let's see if my math is correct. Let's draw some diagonal lines. See those diagonal lines? Okay, so we're going to have... Well, okay, we've got 3 times 2, and that's 6 there. 3 times 3, that's 9 there. Then we have 4 times 3, and that's 12 there. And we have 4 times 2, and that's 8 there. So now we got the 6, and of course 9 and 8 is 17. We're going to have a 1 there, and 2 plus 1, of course, is 3. And of course you have the 1 here. So your numbers here, 1, 3, 7, 6, has, happens to be this one right here. And there's your answer. So I'll explain it again. 3 times 2 is the 6 here. 3 times 3 is the 9. 4 times 3 is the 12. 4 times 2 is the 8. Then we add this column up, and that's 6. And 9 plus 8 equals 17, but we got to carry the 1, and we put the 1 up here, plus 2, that's 3, that's this 3 right here, and this final column, we didn't have to add anything, so there's your 1. And that is how lattice multiplication works. You are more than welcome to research this on your own. I hope you learned a lot. I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.